Hey everyone, this is The Real Stew, and in this video today we're going to look at light maps. So we're here in 3ds Max, I have my 3D object here. And what I've done is, in the blue here, I've laid, up, I've laid out all the faces of this asset out, so you can see how we're going to lay out the UV maps. So, with every face here, and every side of the object, this is how we want to lay it out, because this is how Unreal Engine 4 um, calculates light maps. Essentially, so it's going to take how the light's going to hit the face and how the object itself is going to cast shadows. That's the basic kind of principle of how it works. I'm going to just show you this image here. Um, and as you can see, this is the light map resolutions versus game texture resolutions. Light maps are a lot smaller. Um, and circled here, I put 128 pixels. It's the most common. This is just what I found when creating environments. Um, it, it varies with every asset, but I'll show you in Unreal Engine 4 very easily how you can check to see if you've got the right resolution for that. What I'll do first is, we're going to go through the whole guide and just how to create light maps. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to open up the um, UVW of this object. And what I've done is, I've created basic texture UV layout. So this will be where the texture is applied. Now what I want to do is I want to create a separate channel for the light maps. So over in the channels here, we're in map channel, go to 2. This will ask us do we want to move the UV maps over or abandon it and start from scratch. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to move. So we're still in UV map channel 2. We've got all of our UV maps here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do tools and then pack. So don't worry if in your 3D package you don't have any of these steps here. Or this is how it's done in that package necessarily, if it's Blender or Maya. The, the principles are always the same, you can still do it. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing the padding of a couple of pixels and hitting OK. Because we need at least a couple of pixel spaces per UV island, otherwise we're going to get light map issues and shadow issues uh, when we take this into Unreal Engine uh, 4. So what I'm going to do is very quickly, I'm going to just quickly pack this object. And like your uh, game textures, you want to make sure that you're using all the UV space that you have. I know it's not always possible. Um, but this is kind of like trial and error, because when you pack all the UVs here, um, the light result, the light map resolution result you get when you do your render might not always be the best, or may not always be the most accurate. So you may have to adjust some of the UV islands here until you get the result that you want. So we're going with something like this. I'm then going to collapse the object. And now this object here has two UV channels, the first one being for the game texture and the second channel being for the light map texture. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export this object as an FBX. Yes, and hit OK. Now we're going to jump into Unreal Engine 4. So I've just got a wee folder here and I'm going to just import our object. Now when this comes up here as well, this is really important. Because what you want to do is, normally this is checked, generally generate light map UVs. So essentially what this is going to do is, Unreal Engine 4 is going to create a separate UV channel. Um, but we don't want to do this because since we've already created our second channel for our light maps, we, we don't need this. So we just make sure we uncheck that. And sometimes what I do down here is I'll uncheck the materials as well. So material me import method. Just don't create it. You may want to, that's up to yourself. I'm just going to say no for now, so we just bring in the, the object. I'm going to just click and drag this here. Uh, so we've got our object here. I'm then going to double click on this object and I'll show you how the UV channels work. Just recess. So if you go into the UV toggle display up here, UV channel 0, this is our game texture channel and then if we go to UV channel 1 this is actually our light map that we've created. So if we scroll down here so we get to our general settings here. The light map resolution currently is at 64 and the, the channel sorry the light map coordinates index this is our UV channel essentially that Unreal Engine 4 is going to use for our light map. So the index being 1 it's referring to channel 1. That's right, that means that when we render our object, it's going to use this channel to generate the light and shadow uh, detail for this object. I'm going to just hit save for now. I'm not going to render it here, I'll show you an image that I've created before. So 
it's the same object, the light map resolution is 64, as you can see. And in the preview render, you can see that already you're, you're getting fairly decent shadows. They're obviously a bit distorted, and that's just due to the render quality. On the right hand side, you can see the production render quality, which is much, much better. Um, you can maybe bump up the light map resolution here if you want an even crisper quality. But this is a kind of balance between quality and performance. This is different with every, uh, with every project that you do. But certainly for this tutorial here, I'd say that's quite a good result. And the best place to check for your light map quality. So if we have the object here. Go to optimization view modes and go to light map density or alt zero as a shortcut. You can see our object here is green. And what that tells us is, is that we've got the best uh, resolution for the object there for light maps. Um, so if you're ever unsure what resolution you should use for, for the object, you can actually check on the fly here. So if we change the light map resolution, so say I bring this up to 256, so it goes red. So what that means is, is that we're using too high a resolution and it's going to impact performance, which is obviously something that we don't want. So I put that back down to 64 and then hit save. And if we go back to, to lit mode here, that's pretty much how you set up light maps. As simple as that. Um, so if we do check my uh, just preview here, this is currently a project that I'm working on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you do want to follow this project, uh, do follow my Twitch, check the description down below. Um, and you can follow along. Maybe you're just learning to do 3D artwork for the first time or you've done it already. You want to just see how a full scale environment comes along. Um, do follow that. Um, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and it's explained a lot of things for you here. So I'll see you in the next video guys and uh, take it easy.